What? Get it, boy, get it. You cook that salmon, you smoke it up. Welcome home, Jazzy. You can't. Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on my single player 1.14 server. Today I want to get my ass over to the dang nether. I've been I've been putting that off. I put that off last episode. And uh, we got some cows. That's cool. We're we're gonna want some more enchanting tables. But yeah, I want to get to the nether this episode. Now before I do that, I want to have a full set of iron armor. So we gotta make some armor. Oh, and there was another thing I want to craft. Something that should go right there, and that is. A grindstone. Let's see if I can remember the recipe for this. Nope. Were they reversed? Possibly? Yes. Grindstone. Like a grindstone cowboy. And this is used to repair items. So it works like an axe in that regard. And it removes enchantments. So if I put this guy and... Oh, so I can do this without... I can do this without combining them. Repairs and disenchants. Now, I, I might want to use a... I might want to use the iron to combine these. I mean, it's it's a little silly doing this with iron tools, but... Combining them on an iron wood would bring the two enchantments together, which might be a good thing. Anyway, it just goes to show that I think I can enchant this pickaxe without consequence. And not worry about, uh, you know, wasting, wasting the the pickaxe because I can just use a grindstone to uh, repair it and and unenchant it when I'm done using it. I think I hope I'm. I, it's pro. It's probably is a little wasteful. What can I put on it? Unbreaking two and efficiency two. I mean, we could start with unbreaking two. Oh, but we only have enough levels for efficiency two. And then after this, I would have to use an anvil if I want to put on more efficiency. Maybe I'll hold off. Maybe I'll hold off for now. But I can go make... Uh, I can start to enchant some of this armor. Now, let's say... Let's say this this guy. What can I put on this guy? Respiration? That None of those are helpful. No, no, no. Let's check out the other armor pieces. Oh, I would love to have... Oh, I would love to have Prot 2. I would love it. What else? I can get Prot 2. Ooh. No, no, no. Feather Falling. Feather Falling 2 on those. And then, yeah, I would love to get Protection 2 on those leggings. So let's see if, uh, see if I can find some, some means of experience. We can start by giving these cows some hi. This actually might be a good time to do some investigating. As long as I'm in the, in the market for experience. I've been hearing growling sounds all over here, and it's been driving me crazy since as long as I've been here. So let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. Literally. Just gotta listen. Gotta listen for the sounds of bad people. Oop. Oh. Are you coming from in front of me? Coming from over here. Oh! I found an opening. Now I don't have... Ah, uh, I didn't bring any crap. Did not bring any torches. But this looks like, yeah. This looks like the trouble spot. For sure. Okay, let's make let's make some let's make some torches and come back here. Oh, and while I'm back here, just in preparation for the nether, I'm gonna make a couple flint and steels. One to leave in the nether and one to carry with me. Yeah, I guess I can leave I'll leave the obsidian here for now. That will uh, that we will attend to that by by uh by the end of this, but I wanna I wanna take care of that cave first. Oh yeah, we were, we had camped out underneath a giant cave. Wonderful. I see ya. I see ya. Be dead. Oh yeah, we gotta light all of this up. Hell to the yes. Wow, this is a giant cave. Crap. <gasps> what? Oh, a mushroom. A mushroom! <gasps> a double spawner? What? What? A double zombie spawner? How is this? What? We're right on top of our house. And how did you spawn there? How? 
Pal, I gotta light this bad boy up. Oh my god, this is how we're getting experience. This is how we're gonna farm experience. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I haven't even looked at the chest yet. That is incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is quite a find. That is quite... Wow, a double zombie spotter. What do we got? No, thank you. Respiration too. Nice. I'll take the string. Wow. And what is this? Beetroot. Oh, we can grow beetroot. How lovely. How lovely is that? Ooh, we got a cat music disc. A golden apple. A bucket. Awesome. Oh, two golden apples. Two golden apples. Oh, I can't put any more in here. Oh, I'm going to have to come back for this stuff. That's okay, because I really want to see where we are in relation to... Well, two cats. Two cats. Oh, and name tag. Awesome. Yeah, I want to see where we are in relation to uh, to the, the overworld. The loot is just okay. It's just okay for dungeon loot. But the location is stellar. It is stellar. You know what? Let's just dig straight up. And we got dirt, yep. Let's just do this. I want to see exactly where these spawners are. And we're not even at a super low, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of, we're kind of high up. Amazing. Amazing! I hear more bad people. Oh, it's nighttime. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, what if we just go straight up? I'm just banking on there not being any spiders up there. Ah! Oh god, there's a spider up there! Wow, we are so close. Oh, but I don't want a zombie raid on the village! No! You bastard! Oh, I don't see any zombies raiding. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. This is not a good thing. This is not a good place to be. Let's just get to bed. Wow, it's so close! It is so close! Once we get those villagers safe from zombie raids... Oh man, we're gonna have a dual zombie spotter right there! Right dang there! Uh, I just gotta watch out for creepers, cause I came back at night. Wow, look how close that thing is! That's amazing! I'm so glad I checked that out! Well, cool. Good to know. So now, Blaze Farm is not is not absolutely. Uh, 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 I is. I don't absolutely have to get to making a Blaze Farm immediately because I have a great source of experience right underneath my feet. Is there a reason I don't have a bow yet? I'm not totally sure about that. None of the spiders have dropped a ho- uh, a ho. None of the spiders have dropped a, uh, a bow and arrow, so I guess there's been no need, but yeah, if I'm gonna go into the nether, I definitely want a bow. And I probably also want to enchant it. So, now that we have a few levels, I want to go down and, uh, take a look, see what we can possibly enchant. Alright, I got three things I could possibly enchant. The first is the bow. Let's see, we got punch one, uh, that's- I- I would have preferred power one. Let's see. Fire protection. Oh, fire protection we should probably get. All right. And then we just made this new chest plate. Let's see. What can we get with that? Protection 2. I think we should start with protection 2. And then fire protection will be next. Oh, but it changes every time you enchant. Bummer. Does that mean the unbreaking? Blah, 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 blah. You know what? Let's just give it power. One. Oh, it gave it unbreaking and power. Nice. Did we get protection two back? Yes. Okay. So the next thing I will make is protection two once I get oof, 12 levels. Okay. Might not happen until we get to the nether. Might not. Ooh, is that is that fully grown? I believe that was. Beetroot. What can I make with beetroot? Red dye. Right. What about food? What kind of food can I make with beetroot? Alright, I can make beetroot soup, which just... I... 
it just, it restores six hunger points, and eating a beetroot restores one hunger point, so it's just like a faster way of, of getting the beetroot hunger, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the most, worth, the most worthwhile thing to be consuming, but it is a food item. It is food, so I cannot, I cannot undervalue any food. I was considering making a crossbow. They are nice, because they, they do more damage. But they take longer to prepare. You gotta load them and then... Yeah. Um... Uh, I'll stick with the bow for now. Just for a first... Just for a first look at the nether. Just to see what we have. I will hold on to the golden apples. I will hold on to my... My... My picks. I will bring some extra... I don't want to bring too many resources. That's the thing. Uh, I'll bring my torches. I'll bring my dandelions. Sure. And... Oh, I was hoping to have more arrows. But... Yeah, I don't really have feathers to make more arrows. I suppose I could go kill some... I suppose I could go kill some skeletons. Actually, I want the experience anyway, so let's go, uh... Let's go find a spot to, uh, to pick off some baddies. There's a creeper. Don't really want you. I don't want zombies either. Looking for skeletons. Skeletons! Where are the skeletons? I need some bows. Here we go. Here's a little batch of skeletons over here. Come on, bros. Bros, I really should make a mob trap, like a, like a, just a, just a regular good old fashioned mob spawner. That would be the easiest way to go about this, but I'm a lazy bum. Oops, where? Where? Oh, you're down there. Well, come on up. Ah. Why can I not block? Having a hard time blocking. Ugh. I'm having a hard time fighting. Oh, well, thank you. All right. Getting some arrows, I think. Just want to make sure not to get exploded. This is fun. I'm having fun being the... Being the little Minecraft hunter. Oh, but I think... Oh, crap. Ah. I should probably not take on three at a time. Ah. Yeah, and zombies are going to complicate things. Uh. Here. One is much more manageable. Much more manageable. Much more manageable! Ooh, did you just drop an iron ingot? Man, I can't wait to get this zombie zombie farm up and running. These dual zombie spawners? That's so awesome. Ah, you can stay down there. Uh, you are not the reason I'm here. These guys. These guys. Yeah, once I get that, that spawner going on. Enchanting experience! Fun times. I can't decide what I want to do first. A, uh, a general mob drop farm or a zombie farm? Because zombies would be good for experience, but having a general uh, a spawner just for the loot means we would get a lot of bones and arrows and mob loot, which would be super helpful. And plus, we're going to the nether. We're going to find, hopefully, find a blaze spawner, so... Yeah, maybe, maybe the zombies are not super important at the moment. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Ooh, I think our house is up there, but it's almost daytime. We got 17 arrows. That should be enough to start us off. Start us off in the nether. Ugh, I want to get to that as soon as possible. Oh, hey, there's salmon down here. Can I, like, just knock them? Can I just kill them? Can I just kill you? <gasps> Do you drop anything? You don't drop. Do you drop? You drop something. What'd you drop? What'd you drop? What'd you drop? Bone meal. And raw salmon. Wait, maybe the bone. Was that by the. Was Did the salmon drop the bone meal? I doubt it. 
I doubt it, but where else would I have gotten it? From the skeletons? Ooh, this this is good. Wait, what 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 was? Okay, that's just more raw salmon. Cool! Cool! Get me some salmon. Ooh, let's rock this smoker! Raw salmon? Yes! Get it, boy! Get it! You cook that salmon! You smoke it up! Excellent! Excellent! I'm just, uh, looking through, looking through my chest, figuring out what it is I want to bring to the nether. Probably bread, probably, probably basically every, uh, all the food I can get my hands on. Ah, uh, put this stuff in here. Mob drops we don't need. Yeah, I'll probably go make some more bread before taking off. And torches, good. I also want some blocks. I think I'll take a stack of dirt and a stack of cobble. Yeah, because I will want to cover up the portal when we when we pop in. And my two flints, I will take. I will take a uh, some wood crafting. I will take some chest just to drop things when I get there. And extra sticks. I think that's probably that's probably it. Okay, let's go grab some food and let's make this nether portal. Oh right, and we gotta enchant the the pants, the pants. Let's enchant the pants. Grab some lapis, lapis pants. Protection too, lovely. Yeah, you wouldn't have given me anything else, would you? All right, what else do we have left to enchant? That's good. It's nice to have a couple protection two pieces. Aqua affinity protection one. I can do protection one. Let's do protection one. Sure. Can never hurt to have too much protection. Boop. That was, eh. Okay, fine. We got it. We got it. We got, we got enough. I think we got enough for now. Let's go make this portal. All right, just as a temporary thing, I will place the nether portal over here. And we'll just make it flush with the ground for now. I'll make it three on each side. Dip, dip, dip. Done. Nether! Woohoo! Alright. Uh, I think I have everything that I want to take through. I don't honestly don't want to take too much through. We should probably make a weapon. Yeah. I should probably take a weapon. But yeah, honestly, I don't really want to take too much through because there's a good chance that I will die. And I do not want to have anything irreplaceable left behind okay you really don't need to do that every time I come home Why? welcome home Jazzy I've been waiting for you I would rather have sharpness just a super simple enchantment super simple enchantments that's gonna be the theme of this uh, of this nether journey okay that's it. That's all I want to bring. Let's get to this. Let's hop on through. And maybe there will be another fortress right next to... Right next to the uh, the nether portal. That would be lovely. That would be so lovely. Let's see what we got. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? On top of the fortress? This has got to be the luckiest episode ever! And that being said, I don't want to jinx it. So let's... Let's get undercover as quickly as we can now maybe I don't want to put too many torches up here because we will be f wanting to fight lots of withers I do not believe the luck I cannot believe my luck this episode first we find a double zombie spawner right underneath right underneath our home and now we build our first nether portal and there's a friggin nether fortress right here oh my goodness what am i gonna do with myself let's grab a little bit of quartz while we're here unreal unreal the luck the luck all right you know what i should torch up a little bit just to be able to see <laughs> just to be able to see but also to mark where I've been, because it's easy to get lost in these guys. Oh, 
Oh, wither skeletons. Glowstone. Let's see if we can aggro one. Wow, it's kind of hard to see around here, ain't it? Let me let me see if I can I can fix that. All right, up the render distance a little. Oh yeah, yeah, I can definitely see a little bit more. What the hell is over here? I mean, if there's a blaze spawner here, that would just be that would just be so swell. <laughs> I can't get over this another fortress. Oh, I I really should I really should cover this up, but. Let's just cover it up from behind. Alright, I see a potential blaze spawner location over there, so I'm gonna take care of these guys. Yes, yes. Give me some wither heads, why don't you? Oh, but don't wither me. Don't wither me! I see ya! Whoa! Come on! You see me! I gotta be quick with these guys. As soon as they get in range, I gotta knock them, because they have quite a reach. I could also be knocking them with my bow, I suppose. Oh, looks like... No, no, it doesn't continue over there. But, yeah, I was expecting... Oh, I think that's probably a spawner up there. Yep. Super close. <gasps> Jesus, Jesus. It's hard to see. It's hard to see around here. Oh, I hear you. Let's see if we can get under. Yeah, let's see if we can get under. I, I want to get a blaze rod to start just so that I can. Just so that I can make some fire protection. Yeah. All right, how are we going to do this? How are we going to get close enough? Let's just move in very slow. Oh, perfect. Damn, you hit hard, bro. All right. Did you drop one? You dropped a rod. Lovely. Hey, you see me. Come on over. Come on down. Yes, perfect. Perfect. And they can't see me. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is the perfect. This is nothing could have gone any better than this, honestly. This is great. Getting blaze rods. Not dying. That's that's the most important part of this. And they just come right to me. Experience farm. Now I am going to want to get a little closer. These boys are rather loud. Anyone ever tell you that? Y'all are a bit loud for my tastes. I'm just trying to, trying to get in close enough to... Uh, to get some torches in and slow down their spawning just a little bit. Ah! Bad time to lag. Very bad time to lag. Oh! Oop! Oop! Oopsies! Oopsies! I let them through. And now I'm gonna die. Let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Nope. 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 That's a bad. That was a baddie. Daddy did a baddie. Chassis? Jazzy, Jazzy, Jazzy. You can't. Oops. Oopsies. And what are you guys doing? Wait a minute. Are they going? Somebody was chasing somebody else around. Was it just the. Okay, whatever. Back to the nether, let's get our swag back. Oh, oh, what? When did that happen? Why is there a raid going on? I... No! Go away, guys, go away. <laughs> why are you, why are you here? Why are you raiding? Oh, I just want to go get my stuff back. Can I please go get my stuff back? Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. You killed the... Oh, you killed that uh, that wandering dude. Alright, look. Look, guys. I don't want any trouble. I really don't. I don't know why you're here. I don't. But I don't want any. 
I should probably deal with y'all before I deal with the blazes. Let's just get our... What? Oh god, they're still spawned? Yikes. Alright, let's just get our stuff back first thing. We should go away so that they can despawn. What? Go away, go away, go away, go away! Despawn, please. Please despawn. Please. Please. Alright, they despawned. Let's see if we can swoop in and grab our swag before they come back. Don't, don't spawn, don't spawn, don't spawn. Just let me get my stuff. I just want my stuff. Ah, where was I? It was this way. Yep, there's all my stuff. Right there. There's a wither on the other side. I'm not going to worry about him right now. Just put the armor back on. Get the hell out of here. We'll deal with the... We'll deal with this... Yeah, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that much later. You guys. Do you guys ever go away? Do you? Just kind of roaming around. Roaming around. I know if you get near the village, you're gonna kill the villagers. I don't like that idea very much. Oh. So here's a Mexican standoff. And you guys are super close to the... You guys are super close to the village. Are you gonna keep following me? Oh, now you're tracking me. Wondering if I can lead you away from the village because... Yeah, I don't want you killing all my villagers. Pillages. Hello. Come over here. Yeah, they're moving closer and closer. I don't like that. Might want to get out of the way, chicken. This could be... This could get bad. Here they come. Oh, boy. Yep, let's just lead them far away. Far away. They're coming. Oh, yeah, they are coming for me. All right, I got one. Oh. I see the sign. And I know if I kill the captain, I get, like, a bad omen. And then... And then if I go back to the village... Wait, wait, wait where are you going? Where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. No, thank you. Now we just have this guy. Oh, that'll he'll give me a bad omen. But if I if he stays, then he'll kill the villagers anyway. I'm going to kill him. It's going to be a bad omen. I know it. I can feel it. Oh, my villagers are going to die. Fine. You know what? Fine. Bad omen. Yikes, I don't think that ever goes away. Okay. Now I got this icon on my screen forever. Lovely. Guess we better find another village and start a raid. <laughs> so that these guys don't got, uh, get raided. Hey guys, you want you want an ominous banner? There you go. Oof. Oof! <laughs> oh man, let's breed some cows. Let's do something a little more relaxing. And then I probably get back to the nether. Figure out what to do with those dang blazes. I just read an interesting bit of trivia. The trivia tells me that... So this bad omen will last for five days, five in-game days. However, you can remove the bad omen by... Get this. Drinking milk! <laughs> It's like, oh, I have I have to cleanse myself of this of this death. Let's drink some milk and everything's gonna be fine. It's like Guys, guys, like I can see I can see the, the, the pillagers returning to their returning back to their apples. Guys, guys. They just killed our captain. 
we're gonna have a revenge. Let's go get our revenge. And they run towards me and go. And they watch me drink the milk and they go, oh. Oh, he drank the milk. We can't, we're not mad at him anymore. He drank the milk. Well, not sure if that's an intended mechanic, but I'm glad that there's a way to get rid of the omen without triggering a raid. At one point, raid uh, triggering a raid might be cool for getting experience points, but I am not in in like dire need of experience points now, especially now that we have a double zombie spawner right next to our house and a friggin' nether fortress on the other side of that portal. This is probably the best place to to build to build a, a home for ourselves. So let me, let me think about this. The next thing we should probably do. Oh, I was going to say, oh yeah, because we, we do still need... See, I have a problem of, of explaining things to myself in my head before explaining them out loud. Here's what I was thinking. I was thinking I want to have some fire resistance potions before I try to take care of that blaze spawner. And to get fire resistance pots, I'm going to need to go get some nether wart. We have a brewing stand, and now that we have blaze rods, we can make more, actually. But we don't have a nether wart, so we got to go get that. And I'm hoping there are some in the nether. I don't need to bring all this stuff. I don't. Okay. I want to be vigilant this time around. I do. Let's start by covering up this nether portal. There's no reason to be... Yeah, there's no reason for any of it to be exposed. Let's just cover it all up and keep it nice and safe. And it'll also make it easier to spot. Now, which way have I not gone? don't believe I've gone this way. Yeah, maybe we won't risk it. I'm having a hard time seeing. I don't know if it's the way... It's probably all this friggin' nether brick. Alright, we're not gonna mess with that right now, but we are gonna go up here. Because I believe it leads to more... Oh, I can't see a thing! Uh, because I believe it leads to more stuff. Does not lead to more stuff. Can we... Can... This is probably not not a good idea. But if I can get at least some of it lit up. Let's see. Let's just spam. Let's just spam with torches. Yes, we'll keep that burning. I know they can spam they can spawn at a lot, lot of like low light levels, but should help for the time being. Should help. Let's just get some get some blocks in here let's just yeah start to start to defeat this oh they could spawn out there too lovely lovely all right I knew there were some other routes down here yeah let's go this way oh hello let's uh let's take you out the safe way oh we took you out excellent these guys whoa Give me a give me a head, why don't you? Why don't you? Some cool some cool music. What's down here? More stuff. Okay, let's make some torches. Wow, another blaze farm. Crap. We gotta block just block it off for now. Good to know about. Good to know. We're looking for nether warts. There should be some chests around here too. I'm not having a ton of luck in this fortress, but there's still some avenues I have yet to explore uh, back that way. I might end up digging straight up and see if I can get a bird's eye view of this fortress, because, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of avenues that are that are obscured by, by nether wart, uh, by nether brick, like down here. Like, what's going on down here? Oh, this opens up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, time to head back. Oh my! You just popped out of nowhere, didn't you? Crap! I don't want you not. I don't want you destroying the. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's use our crossbow on you. Whoa! I thought you had to pull it back. Yeah. Gotcha. Ouch. Yeah, see, this is why, this is why I need fire protection. Because that, that fire is going to hurt me. 
So yeah, before I before I spend too much time, too much more time in this fortress, I can't, still can't believe we got a fortress right on the other side of the Nether portal. Uh, but yeah, before I get before I spend too much time here, I do want to get to making fire fire pots, and that is going to require some Nether wart. All right, well, let's head on back for now. All right, time to go to sleep. That was a, that was a rather lucrative trip to the. Look at all these achievements we got. Wow. It was a, it was definitely an advancing kind of episode, and it's fun to see all the stuff that we have going on around here. Uh, quite a few things going for us, so I'm, I'm pleased with that, and I look forward to, uh, I look forward to, to turning that dual zombie spawner into something, and, uh, and taking that blaze spawner, turning that into a potential, uh, way of getting XP, but we will uh, we will look at that in the next video. Hope you are enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye bye